Hey, what's up on G Flats? I guess say, J. Give yourselves a hand back in downtown Los Angeles. Chicago right in the front. Uh, I got to live a childhood dream when I was in Chicago. I took a flight attendant to the state fair. Uh, that's not the dream. Hold on, hold on. You guys have low expectations. You're like, oh, cool. No, but at the fair, I lived a childhood dream. I had sex on the Gravitron. Uh, you guys know what the Gravitron is? When you go to the fair, it looks like a spaceship spins in a circle, sucks you up against the wall. Right? <laughs> Fellas, you gotta bring condoms though. Not easy to pull out on the Gravitron. <laughs> when you were a kid, you used to see people throw up, what would it do? It'd go... <laughs> so imagine if you're about to climax, it just goes... <laughs> Is that a nice kind of picture for you? Is that good? Oh, this is kind of a dirty crowd then. Is that what I'm guessing? You guys don't, you know, mind if I go dirty? What do you say? Okay. Uh, you guys think it's weird that I like to eat Oreo cookies while watching interracial porn? <laughs> Is that weird? Is that weird? Well, like, if you call me on watching porn, I don't pause it, I just mute it. <laughs> yeah, I come up with some excuse like, oh, just get to the gym, hold on. <laughs> Or if I'm watching porn and I notice they have the same IKEA furniture, I'm a dude that's not gonna be able to handle the weight. You're gonna break that table. <laughs> Does anybody have those friends that tell you way too much about what they did last night? Yeah. yeah. Right? Like my buddy was like, I took an epic shit last night. <laughs> you could have just said I went to the bathroom. But even my buddy Casey loves to tell me too much. He's like, hey man. I got a bummer last night. I'm like, a bummer? What the hell is a bummer? He's like, it's when you let a homeless chick blow you. I was like, dude, that is a bummer. <laughs> when I was uh, coming through the lobby, this lady asked me about the ring on my finger. It's my grandfather's high school ring. Class of 1951. He graduated high school in 1951. <laughs> We're in Port Long Island, I'm still in high school. I got this ring from my grandfather because I couldn't afford that fucking expensive Jostens ring when I was in high school. You guys remember that monopoly they had on you? You could only purchase one type of ring. So what I do is I wear this ring in my grandfather's honor. And sometimes I do something a little dishonorable with it. I'll take it, put it on my ring finger, and pretend I'm married, like some of the ladies when they go to the club. <laughs> no, look, you just gave me. Oh shit, they know? Guys know? <laughs> Well, for guys, pretend you're married when you travel because flight attendants will flirt anymore. Because they feel safe with a married man talking to a married man. Yeah, thank you, Ashley Madison. Yeah, that's where that comes from. <laughs> but this one flight attendant, she was like, oh, how long have you been married? And I was like, well, it's just me and my son now. <laughs> Like people, who, this guy did right here. That's right. Because the economy's rough. Do you agree? The economy's rough. You gotta try and get free drinks whenever you can. Ladies, know it. And you could get free drinks forever. Sorry, ladies. Besides, the economy's getting rough. I just saw hot chicks at the 99 cent store buying Angel Soft. You know what that is? The Charmin girl. Squeeze the Charmin. <laughs> How many of you guys uh, had to use your GPS to find this place too? Did you guys ever find it? Use your GPS system to find this? the Cicada Club, right? Uh, are you, any of you guys tired of those voices that are in your GPS system? Yeah. yeah. Uh, do we have any Beyonce fans, ladies? Wouldn't it be cool if Beyonce was the voice from Texas? Is that where Beyonce is from? Is that why everything's bigger in Texas? Is that what it is? How cool would it be if Beyonce was the voice in your phone? If you're in traffic, I'll sit you here. Make the left, make the left. <laughs> right? Right? Or maybe like Fergie from the Black Eyed Peas, but she'd spell everything out. L to the E to the F to the T. Fergal is just the Dirty left. Do you have any Star Wars fans in the house? <laughs> what if Chewbacca was the voice of your GPS? You're driving along and suddenly you hear. <laughs> <laughs> you're like, dude, Chewie, we're not even on the 110 right now. I don't know what you're talking about. That's <laughs> 20 minutes early, you should have it. 
Maybe Antonio Banderas is the voice. He just like he goes like this. He goes, make a laugh. But oh yeah. <laughs> Maybe Christopher Walken. Maybe he's like, merch. You better slow down. You're going too fast. Fake IDs? You're drinking fake drinks right now. 
But you can be old school if you've ever done any of these things. How many people, whether you're before, before 85 or after, have ever purchased an actual record album? Real vinyl. Who's ever done that? Yeah. There's this thing called a record player. You put a, I don't know what time it's playing. <laughs> Check this out. Old school people will know what this means. My Uncle Ralph had an 8-track in a gremlin. Yeah. 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 No, I still have a tape deck in my 1963 Corvette convertible. Who else has still got a tape deck? Yeah. I got an old school red convertible that I drive around and it's been fun to watch reactions. This one guy stops me at the light and he's like, Hey man, nice Corvette! I'm like, oh no, no, it's, a, it's actually it's a Corvair. Nah, pretty sure that's a Corvette! Pretty sure I'm driving it like, uh, it's a Corvair. And then, immediately after I hear this, whoop whoop! Cops, the whoop whoop! Oh, what did I do? Registration okay? Or they got my seatbelt on? And he pulls up next to me. Hey, man, 63? <laughs> yeah, but why'd you do the whoop whoop? And that's not even fair. You know that heartbeat that drops? You know what I'm talking about? Where you're like on the verge of vomiting? You're like, oh, shit. Do I have time? Do I have parking tickets? I got a weird ticket one time. I got a ticket for sliding down the handrails in the subway station at Hollywood and Highland. Yeah, there's Two things that never get old for me since I was a kid. One thing is sliding down the handrails. Anybody else like that? You see a handrail, you're like, get to the bottom, start the pose or something, hope that somebody's recording at the sports center or something like that. This particular day, I'm at the Hollywood Highland subway station. I slide to the bottom of this long rail. I get to the bottom, four LA County sheriffs are standing there. They're just making sure you have valid fare. You have to have your little tap card on you. Okay? So I got my headphones on, I'm listening to music, because that's how I slide, I listen to music. And so I walk through and I just kind of flash my tap card, and I don't hear him the first time, he says, stop! So I get a little further, I go through a little turnstile thing, and then I see him in my peripheral vision, he's got his hand on his gun holster, and he's walking next to me, and he goes, stop right there, buddy! So I take the headphones off, and I'm like, oh, officer, I'm sorry, what's going on? He's like, he's like, I told you to stop! You can't slide down the handrails in the subway station. And I'm now standing next to that sign that tells you what you can and cannot do in the subway. Uh, play radios? No. Smoking? No. Okay. Hey, you should put that up on the sign. <laughs> well, I'm going to say. Because the next thing he says is get up against the wall and put your hands behind your head. Interlace your fingers. So I'm back here like this. And he says, do you have any warrants out for your arrest? And I go, for sliding out of handrails? No. Then he gives me that leg kick where you have to now do this, you know? Gives me a ticket for sliding down the handrails and I have to go to the most intimidating building in Los Angeles. The, the courthouse on Hill Street. DUI? So that's what they go. And like when I was a kid, you know, I, I just assumed if you ever have to go to court, you dress nice, right? Not in Los Angeles, no. I show up and there's only one guy in line, and although before we go in the courtroom, there's about 25 people in line, because it's like the DMV, you want to get there early, or we'll be there all day. I'm the only guy in a suit. There was a guy for an immigration issue, and he was wearing a Mexican flag t-shirt. I was like, dude, you want to borrow my Patriots jersey or something? Like, you want to stick around, don't you? And the guy in front of me was there for domestic abuse charges. Serious stuff. He beat up his wife, his daughter, and his mother-in-law. I did not tell him I was there for handrail sliding. <laughs> so we go into the courtroom. He has to go see the judge first, okay? So he goes to see the judge, and the judge is looking at this guy's rap sheet, and he's like, all right, apparently, Terrell, there's been another uh, incident. You want to tell me your side of the story? And he's like, you know what, Your Honor? She hit me with a schmoo. Judge is confused, much like your faces right now. The court reporter's like, uh, uh, for what, what did you say? The judge is like, what? Can you repeat that? I don't, I don't think we caught that. He's like, yeah, you're honest. She hit me with a schmoo. Uh, doesn't help if you just repeat what you've said before. Uh, what is the schmoo? And he goes, come on, you know the thing you schmoo to close with. <laughs> oh, the iron. Make sure everybody would call him. She just said this is my reaction. The same reaction I had in the courtroom. Oh, shit. <laughs> Some dude in the back of the courtroom high five somebody else. That's fucking awesome. <laughs>
<laughs> so he goes like this, he goes, well, okay, here's the deal. Uh, I'm going to make sure that you keep attending your domestic abuse classes. If I catch you in this courtroom again, not only will you do time, but I will serve you with a $30,000 fine. Sends the guy on the way. Looks at the next ticket, goes, <laughs> Thompson, this sounds oh, real. Okay. Um, all right. Well, only guy in a suit step forward. It's not like that. Hi, Your Honor. He's like, uh, so you want to tell me uh, what happened here? I was like, I don't know. I'm a big kid at heart. He goes, nope. Says you're 36. I'm like, um, sorry, Your Honor. He goes, well, here's the deal. He goes, uh, what did you learn? And I go, apparently I should be sliding down the handrails at the subway station. And he goes, yeah, that's about right. That's about right. Here's the deal. Since I've never heard of this ticket before, I'm going to throw it out. But if I catch you in my courtroom again with this infraction, not only am I going to find you, but I'm going to hit you with shmoove. <laughs> Shows? You guys ever heard of uh, Dancing with the Stars, American yeah. Idol, yeah. Yeah. The audience is a little different though. those shows. Like here, if he's 21, because you have to drink. But uh, when I worked like, so you didn't even dance, they bring like hundreds of high school cheerleaders in the audience because they're all super excited to be there. So the pedophile in me goes crazy <laughs> for two hours of live television. I'm off camera, I'm relaxed. Um, but after one show, a couple weeks ago, this girl comes up to me and she goes, Hey, I just wanted to let you know that we had a great time. I was wondering if after the show you wanted to go out for like, food and stuff. I was like, Wow, I'm pretty sure my definition of and stuff is going to be way different than yours. <laughs> she goes, Nope. I was like, Whoa, whoa, aren't you here with like a high school cheer group? She's like, Yeah, Mission Diego Cheer. <laughs> I was like, so there's a whole squad of sluts here? Is that what's going on? And you're the leader. Okay. okay. I go, no, I'm flattered, but how, how old do you think I am? She's like, I don't know, you're like 25? <laughs> Thank you, but uh, I was actually born one year after our country's bicentennial. You were born in the 1800s. <laughs> Who's the worst head I ever got here? <laughs> Accompanied by a terrible blowjob, a terrible hand job, the one that's like the room key doesn't work. This, this little. I'm kidding, you guys. I'm kidding. It's actually decent. We've been dating for three months. Now. And I'm already past middle aged. For guys in America, middle aged is 36. I bet you didn't know that. 36 is middle aged for guys in America. Because it's the first time that you can fuck somebody half your age legally. <laughs> Look at the community college kids. Carry those. Uh, uh, we've all got smartphones, but I'm pretty sure our smartphones are making us stupid. I went to dinner with three girls from work the other night. Bill came and this girl goes, Who ordered gratuity? <laughs> I was at the other end of the table. I did. It was delicious. You didn't get it? It was included. <laughs> so you get it. I was like, you probably can't have gratuity because there's gluten in it. <laughs> She's like, I can have gluten. I've been working out at the fitness. That's <laughs> 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 fitness. She's one of those girls that's going to die day one of the real zombie apocalypse. You know, when everybody else is running as fast as they can. It's obviously monster makeup. It's obviously monster makeup. <laughs> Do we have any Latinas in the house? Oh, okay. Do you guys like to go salsa dancing? You like salsa dancing? I don't like salsa dancing. But I love getting a little drunk and running into a Latin club and just yelling, Maria! <laughs> like half the club turns around. A bunch of them look angry because they have their eyebrows drawn in on their faces. Or they look like they work at McDonald's. There's little arches drawn on there. 
Sometimes they have those jeans with the smooth back pockets. No, nope. you know what I'm talking about? The jeans in the back, and then they could dazzle it. It's like putting fancy rims on a Ford Focus. <laughs> it's, just, it's not really worth the effort. <laughs> Did you guys hear that uh, Leonardo DiCaprio wants to open up an eco-friendly resort on a remote island? I'm thinking to myself, wouldn't it be more eco-friendly to just fucking leave that island alone? <laughs> right? Can you spend your money on something? Well, you know what? I gotta go, you guys. That's my time. Thank you guys for joining me.